Over the course of the previous year, we as a team tried to plan our basic technology plan to implement Bring Your Own Technology for this 2013-14 school year. We put together an opening day institute for the entire district as well as building level opening day institute sessions. I was in charge of introducing to the staff this SAMR model that I use to represent the multiple levels of differentiation that people have with technology in their classroom environment. The SAMR model represents all sorts of different levels from very beginner to very advanced users and the various ways that they can use the technology in the classroom. BYOT has definitely changed some of my teaching practices. I have set up a Schoology course, which has certainly made my class materials easily accessible. I take in consideration the utilization of Chromebooks when lesson planning, and the collaboration piece is essential when I incorporate Google Drive into group assignments. Um, students can work on them in and outside of class in the comfort of their own homes. One of the best things about BYOT is it allows our classes to enter into a flipped model. In my economics class, uh, the students watch videos about basic economic concepts that I've created or that were created by other educators around the world. And they watch them on their own time, on demand. So it may be on the bus to an athletic event, or it may be like at three in the morning when they think they're at their best. And they gain that common basic understanding of the concept, and then they bring that back to class. We're able to apply it to problem situations, maybe a simulation. And from there, they gain a deeper understanding of the content. Sometimes now our teacher uses a flipped classroom, which is where we look at the notes and all the PowerPoints and videos online at home, and we use our class time to work on problems, get more help, anything we need um, with our teacher knowing the material. As we started talking at our opening day sessions about students bringing their own technology, we knew that as staff we would have to kind of change our way of instruction and planning as well. Um, a lot of teachers have used uh, lots of different technologies all along the spectrum of the SAMR model, uh, including things like Schoology um, and kind of planning their classroom website around that, giving students access when they're outside of the classroom. Uh, we've used QR codes in classes. I know in our poetry unit we added um, QR codes to the corners of, of poems, so instead of the students just reading them, they were able to hear the authors kind of speak those poems aloud um, while they're analyzing the words. Um, with the Remind 101 app, it's, it's really, it's easy to get um, what exactly you need to know for your classes uh, with a quick reminder here and there from a text message from your teachers. Bring Your Own Device has really changed how quickly I can get my work done in class. So being able to use my phone or like the iPads to look up stuff and to find definitions quicker is makes me work a lot faster and it's just really easy to find everything in one place instead of having to go search different areas. I've learned how to use Google Docs and stuff, and so that's really important for, I think, for college. You know, I think that the Bring Your Own Technology policy has been great because it's created a strong culture for collaboration both between teachers but also with students. Um, whether it's using Google Docs, Schoology, Twitter, we're seeing an increased amount of communication about professional practice. Um, for teachers, things like Twitter have allowed us to be able to share resources quickly and connect to larger professional networks. Um, in our classrooms, we're able to use things like Google Docs and Schoology to be able to extend conversations and allow for students to work on projects with meaningful collaboration. You can have multiple people working on the same document. You can have students posting things to discussion boards on Schoology, and it's really allowed us to extend and change what our classrooms feel like. The students are using an app in my classroom called Socrative. And the app is wonderful because it gives them immediate feedback uh, on their answers to the questions. So I can type in a variety of questions. It can be multiple choice. It can be more open-ended, short answer. Um, and I can type in the correct answer. I can type in explanations for the correct answer. So the students really get to know right away um, what they need to maybe spend more time studying. Um, instead of doing like a review packet, we would use Socrative and it was like taking your own time and then once you finish you can find out how many you got right. We had to answer a couple questions for a questionnaire and then we texted those answers to a website and then she put the website up on the projector screen to see what the majority of the answers were. Another tool I've been able to use this year is web-based technology such as Poll Everywhere. Students have their phones and their devices with them, they can pull them out, I can do a quick formative assessment um, and we can see the feedback in real time and then we can talk about it 
um, the phones usually get put away and, and we can be on with class, but it's been a great tool. Bringing my own technology to school has allowed me to work one-on-one -on -one with teachers and even work by myself more independently and get papers done and other types of things. It makes it a lot easier on the students because they can work on the go as they say if you finish work early in a class you can ask your teacher to work on another project like I did. So it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to wait for a computer lab to open up or go down to a library if you're already in a class. I'll sometimes encourage them to say, all right, um, missing work from this unit is due on Friday. Why don't you go into your um, PowerSchool app right now and look to see if you have any missing work. Um, so I know students use it quite a bit for that. Teachers use all sorts of different resources in the classroom. We have teachers of varying skill levels. So some teachers are introducing very simple bring your own technology methods, such as asking the students to bring their cell phones out and simply create a Google search. We also have some teachers who are on the opposite end of the spectrum, who use uh, resources like Skype and create very interactive video classrooms with other classrooms all over the world. You know, for our teachers to say suddenly we have this huge ability to be able to transform what our classroom feels like with technology has created a culture that says let's try anything, let's experiment with things. And I think technology isn't driving our instruction, it's enhancing our instruction.